wonderful Sunday. It is the fourth one, July 24th, 2022. To God be the glory for yet another wonderful worship day, another opportunity to reflect on our Lord's goodness and his mercy and his strength that he gives us day to day, which is our joy. You know, I was trying to count back to the number of Sundays in July and Lord willing there will be five Sundays and you know how church tradition like certain Sundays will be in charge like the first Sunday you might have the communion board and the missionaries might be in charge and the second Sunday I'm trying to think back in my childhood maybe the deacons would be in charge third Sunday the youth would be in charge and the children the fourth Sunday, the junior ushers, fifth Sunday, we changed it. And I think it there was a doubling up of the young people being in charge. But let me just say, the fifth Sundays usually come around only four times a year, very few times. And instead of the fifth Sunday, there is going to be in each one of our lives another Sunday. It will be perhaps our final Sunday. Ah, oh, Michelle, there you go, being morbid. Listen, it's reality. When we think about the brevity and the speed of how these days pass by, we're already, you know, in the, the tail end or, or the other half of this year and life just moves. And we want to be cognizant of the time that we have. Well, in Psalms 84, it's talking about how it's a blessing, how it's so beautiful, how it's such a privilege to go into the courts of the Lord, to worship him. It said, my soul longeth, yea, even fainteth for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh crieth out for the living God. Yes, yea, the sparrow hath found a house and a swallow, a nest for herself where she may lay her young, even thy altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Blessed are they that dwell in thy house, his presence, wherever you are, because you bring the spirit of the Lord. They will still be praising thee. I still want to worship the Lord wherever I am, whatever address. And I know that is your testimony. Whether you're in a hospital bed, whether you're in a nursing home, wherever, you want to still worship the Lord. And blessed is the man or woman whose strength is in thee in whose heart are the ways of them who passing through the hard times the valley of Baca make a well the rain also filleth the pools we had some heavy rains heavy storms tornadoes everywhere but listen the promises of the Lord is in verse 7 of Psalms 84 we go from strength to strength, every one of them in Zion appeareth before God. O Lord God of hosts, hear our prayer, give ear. Behold, O God, our shield, and look upon the face of thine anointed. For a day in thy courts is better than a thousand. I had rather be a doorkeeper, an usher, a guard. I'd rather just be standing in the house of my God than to dwell elsewhere in the tents of wickedness. For the Lord God is a sun, even though we don't see the sunshine. He is a sun and a shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. Yes, he will. No good thing will he withhold from them that walketh uprightly. O Lord God of hosts, blessed is the man and woman that trusteth in thee. Mm.
gently speaking, Jesus is calling, who will go? Who will go? Send me. I will go. Send me wherever. I'll go. I'll go. Send me. I will go. So hopefully the Lord is sending you to a place where you can have a worship experience, but you bring the party, you bring the praise, you bring the spirit of God and know that he will meet you there. He is already there. He is already in you and you go with gladness. Yes, you'd rather be in the house of the Lord. You'd rather be in the place of his presence and that is your soul. We are in the last chapter of Hosea 14. And in verse two, take with you words and turn to the Lord wherever you go. Take with you the spirit of God. Take away all iniquity, Lord, and receive us graciously. So will we render the calves of our lips. Another term, the fruit of our lips. We want to be able to do what Hebrews 13, 15 say. By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. Father, thank you, Lord, that we're able to prepare to go and worship you and praise you and love you like never before. Father, we don't know if this is just the fourth Sunday or if it's our final Sunday, but whatever it is, Lord, we want to worship you in spirit and truth and give you all for you have given us all. Thank you, Father, for another experience, another day, another opportunity to love you. And we'll give you our lives. We'll give you our, our inward being. And we give you the praise, honor, and worship in Jesus' name. Amen.